and we're off. This, you know, just mentioned about scoring points early. This is a, a match where Wanzek really has got to go ahead and, and, you know, it's a little bit different for Gunther to try to go ahead and stay close with somebody, you know, even if you're going up against one of the better wrestlers in the country in Isaac Jordan. But this is an opportunity where, where Wanzek has got to Center. go out there and create points Center. because, as you mentioned before, Tim, Gunther's gaining confidence. Yes, he is. And Wanzek, you mentioned it. This is a big match for Minnesota in this meet. Wanzek, pretty good at hand fighting and has been Easy. undersized at 174, so he feels better down at 165. Very comfortable, and he looks good at 165 as well. And like so many guys in this weight class, you know, beyond the top four in, in the country, is that they, they have just have a difficult time getting through the head hands defense, and so they spend a lot of time in these, Fingers. You, know, you know, squared up with each other. Iowa out front 8-0 after the first two matches. We started at 149. Iowa getting a win from Brandon Sorensen and then Michael Kemmerer. Wanzak had the tie that he wanted right there. Inside bicep tie and had the wrist peeled down and wasn't able to get to the leg. Good work there by Gunther. He kind of shot through the, the arms, but just kind of an effort, effort shot right there. Gunther getting a win in the Ohio State meet over Cody Bircher in front of the home crowd. That was a big win for him. Like I said, had a really tight match with the All-American NCAA runner-up Isaac Jordan. It's a tough road to hoe in the Big Ten. And you know in that match against Bircher, he was able to show that he had really good Work conditioning it, as well. He had it. lungs, he had a tank on his back, and he really got it going in the third period. Wanzek, and both guys just shoot through the head hands. You know, when they made their attempts, they haven't really quite been clear. And so you see that uh, Wanzek working for the inside bicep tie. He has the wrist that he wants. Once he gets it, nice job of dragging out of that there by Gunther. He's got to the leg, right? And, you know what? That's really important a point right there. Great execution by Gunther. Like the drag as he was out of position. Gunther taking him back down. Easy, gentlemen. Back up, working back in. Peel and hand fight, cover the fingers. That's what he's done. And you got to make your turn. You can feel him. Once you covered the fingers, you could feel him. Wanzek will start the second period underneath. Wanzek coming back in. So, see the, the crowd really getting into the, at this point in time. They, they feel that Gunther is just stalling in that position. I think he's doing a great job. And these are really covering the fingers. Look for him to get out in this position, but you know, Gunther just kind of stays with him a little bit. He gets the escape, so. Gunther trying to beat his uh, first ranked opponent of the year. Never a state champion in Illinois. Wanzek a three-time state champion in Minnesota. Gunther out front two to one. Trying for the upset here to give Iowa a 3-0 start in this duel meet. Wanzek trying to uh, stop the bleeding. Well, and if I was Gunther, I'd go right back in on that drag that he was able to hit into that lead leg with the right leg of, of, uh, of Wanzek. And, and, and Wanzek's in real trouble here right now because he's wrestling a little bit high. He's trying to, you know, kind of pummel his way back into this match, but he needs a shot to get through Gunther's defense. He's wrestling too high right now. Well, and you talk about it, Jim, getting the officials' attention. I mean, it's a with the crowd and, 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 and the opportunity to get the uh, warning, perhaps, you've got to go with lower shots. Yeah, and he's... he's he being Wanzek is yes. wrestling with straight legs right now, so Gunther can feel his, that the level change all the way through, and, and, and his feet are active enough that he can fight it off pretty easily. Now he's controlling that left-handed underhook. Pretty well. 
just kind of pumbling through, and you can hear his corner going, you got to clear, and they want him to work off of the you know, free, but he's just too high. Look at how high he is. You can feel that coming from a mile away. I mean, you can see it, you can feel it, everything about it, and Gunther's going to react to that. Difficult to score when you're half a head higher than your opponent. End of the second period, Gunther not even having to leave the center of the mat. I think you, you, you test it out for a while, see if you've sensed any weakness from Gunther, but he didn't want to he didn't want to go there. Well, he's going to have to do what he hasn't been able to do so far. We're talking about Wanzek getting clear of the head and hands defense of Gunther and getting a shot off. And Gunther's doing the right thing and kind of crowd him up now a little bit. So when he crowds him, Wanzek stands up and goes a little straight legged. You know, you're going to sense that the Minnesota crowd, very educated wrestling crowd, is going to get a little frustrated right now. And frustrated with their own wrestler for yeah. not, not forcing the action as far But, but they're going to get involved and maybe make it, if he can create a lot of attempts right now, the, 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 the maybe get a stall warning. But that's not going to help him because of the ride out in the first period. That ride out in the first period, go back to that, was really critical. You can't really win this by stall warnings. You're going to have to do it by offensive points. And look at Gunther push him. The ear-to-ear -ear actually working in Gunther's favor right now. Correct. And I think with, if you're rooting for Gunther right now, you, you want him to go ahead and get his feet active. And he, okay. see how he's, he, he did move his feet in that tie-up? Elbow deep. A nice job of pulling off of that. The warning has been given to the Iowa wrestler. Doesn't make any difference right now. It has to be won by offensive points. You're not going to get enough stall calls. There's one this. and a takedown would tie the match. Or a takedown actually would uh, win, the match. win the match right now. Nice action by Gunther there on his uh, attempt there at the edge. Wanzek needs his go-to move right there, Jim. Yeah. Comes back out, Gunther's propping on him. Couldn't drive all the way through, didn't have a good enough angle. Now he's gonna hit him with a headlock, slips it, and Gunther's gonna take it. The upset win for Gunther. First win over a, a ranked wrestler, a big win for the freshman.